You told us before the game that you enjoy the bread and butter saves. How would you describe that array? No, that, was, uh, that wasn't really the bread and butter stuff, was it? It was uh, a bit hectic, second half. We came out again. We get ourselves in such good positions in the first half. Second half, we gave them, uh, gave them a goal. And, I mean, really, from the uh, first minute in the second half, they were, they were on top of us a little bit. But great credit to the lads. We defended really well today. Um, even Luca, Luca uh, saving things off the line at the end. So it was uh, got a great win. Right at the end, there was a real scramble. Could you see what was happening? Oh, I just the ball. I, there was one of the saves that I made. Maybe, maybe another, and I think another one got blocked by someone. I saw Kyle get kicked in the uh, boot in the head as well. Um, then luckily somebody else deflected that one. So, uh, like I said, a couple of the scary moments at the end, but we'll take the three points. Seven wins from eight now. What does that say about Tottenham? Well, it, I think it says that we can uh, we can do some of the dirty stuff in games as well. You know, some of the roll your sleeves up stuff. Um, a lot of. A lot of times, uh, everybody knows that we can play some uh, tremendous football, but when you go away from home in the Premier League, you're never going to get an easy game, and you need to roll your sleeves up like we did today. I know he will have enjoyed the result, but do you think Harry will have enjoyed the second half? <laughs> you know, I always think it's easier like, being involved in it and here on the day, watching something like that on the telly than maybe the last 15 minutes. I don't know how much he would have enjoyed until uh, JD's goal went in at the end. OK, well, you certainly enjoyed yourself today, because, Brad, even though you're the oldest player in the Premier League, you're indeed a worthy Barclays Man of the Match. Right, thank you. Thank you.